Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be what I eat in a weekend. I filmed this while I was over at my grandpa's house, so I didn't actually get a chance to talk through any of it. Or, <laughs> yeah, so the first thing I ate that day was like, peanut know no as horrible as it sounds. I was feeling nauseous and I needed something that's what it was out and ready, so that's what I grabbed. Then I had two cinnamon rolls probably about 11 o'clock then for lunch that day I made box macaroni and cheese and I added extra salt and pepper because it's me and I always need extra salt because of my pots and yeah and then for dinner was just kind of everywhere we kind of snacked we had this in the fridge that we had cocktail shrimp and um, I got out a jar of pickles for my brother who was having a hamburger earlier in the day and I think we ate about half this jar <laughs> and then for actual like supper we had chicken strips homemade french fries and leftover macaroni and cheese that was in the fridge so I didn't know it was in there or I wouldn't have made a box of macaroni and cheese, but yeah. So now it is Sunday, and Sunday's usually our big breakfast day. We did scrambled eggs, biscuits, fried potatoes, bacon, and sausage. And I do put cheese on top of my eggs. I know some people find that weird. I don't. Um. For lunch, I had a Hungry Man TV dinner. I haven't had one of these in a while, and while I wasn't feeling nauseous and didn't feel like I was going to throw up, I had one. Because <laughs> if I'm going to eat one of these, I want to be able to keep it, as horrible as it sounds. That's what my life has turned into with my POTS and my GI issues. Can I keep this? If not, I'm not going to eat it. Okay, and then dinner or supper, whatever you want to call it, is homemade hamburger helper. I've never made this before, so I did want to include it in this video. Yes, I'm sorry, my camera is shaking. But all you do is brown up like a pound of ground beef with an onion. Then you add in shoot, oh. um it's supposed to be three cups of beef broth. Well, I don't have beef broth. So I use three beef bouillon cubes and three cups of water. And yeah, that was my beef broth. It's supposed to have two tablespoons of tomato paste. I switch this recipe around a lot. So um, after I get the lid off this tomato juice that we canned over the summer, I will show you I think I used about half of this quart size jar of tomato juice. So, yeah. <coughs> it calls for a half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of garlic powder as well. And I didn't start with half or I didn't start with half the quart of tomato juice. I started with like a quarter of it. And then I ended up having to add more once I added in macaroni. But it tells you to cook the ground beef and the onions. Then you add in your beef broth and your tomato paste. And you bring that up to a boil. And then you add in, or sorry, you add in your garlic powder and your chili powder. Then you bring that to a boil. And then once that is boiling, you add in your um, half a box of macaroni noodles. Then once that is cooked, you remove it from the heat and you add in um, two cups of cheddar cheese. I did the room like four to six ounces <laughs> may have been more of that of Velveeta and some 
actual like shredded cheese. I didn't actually follow the recipe exactly. I just kind of winged it because that's what I do. But it did turn out and it tasted exactly like Hamburger Helper, which shocked me. So this is what it looks like after it's all done and I promise it tastes exactly like Hamburger Helper and I will try my best to leave the recipe that I followed 
or that I use down below in the description box as well as the link to the original recipe. If I forget, let me know and I'll put it in there other than but it should be in the description box. I'll try to remember. I also had a Coke with supper this night. I, I don't have a Coke every day anymore, but this particular night I wanted a Coke. Most days when I'm over at my grandpa's, all I drink is water and my Pedialyte in the morning. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not done so already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.